In our day-to-day -day life, we routinely use adapters. Adapters are quite useful to help us out in managing incompatible devices or interfaces. We can convert one thing to another such as energy or signals. For example, we very routinely use lens adapter for cameras. These adapters enable us to attach lenses from one manufacturer to another. Or we use audio adapters which convert audio signal from one format to another such as from USB to 3.5 millimeter audio jack. We also use power adapters for laptop. We have travel adapters. We have USB adapters and so on and so forth. We also have adapters in machine learning or in AI models. These adapters are normally called as LoRa or QLoRa adapters. LoRa stands for low rank adaptation. In simple and easy language, what these AI models adapters or LoRa adapters do is that whenever we need to fine tune or train a model on a specific task or data, we create an adapter. So this adapter sits on top of the base model and then whenever we ask a question, it modifies the response of the model according to our task. For example, we can create an adapter on top of Llama 3 base model or Phi 3 base model, Gemma base model. And this adapter, adapter could be simply geared towards our legal domain or medical domain. So whenever someone asks a question, it is going to focus that response and question to that specific domain. Both base model and LoRa adapter are trained together on the task specific data. The adapter learns to modify the output of the base model to better fit the task of the domain. LoRa or low rank adaptation is a technique for fine tuning pre-trained language models, base models for specific tasks or domain without requiring a large amount of task specific training data. So whenever these companies are training these large language models, these models are called as base models right out of the factory. So what these companies do is they just pick a neural network from scratch. They pick up huge corpus or amount of data and then they train that neural network or AI model on top of that data. That is a generic data set and that is where this initial model is called as base model. And now if you want to fine tune or train that model as per your own data set, for example, your own company's data, or if you want to focus it on any domain like medical, legal, you fine tune it accordingly. And then that is a fine tuning. So in fine tuning, there are various methods. One method is LoRa, where instead of training the whole method from whole model from scratch, we just pick up few of the layers and then we adapt few of we just put uh, freeze some of the layers and then we put this adapter on top of it so this adapter lora adapter consists of a low rank matrix that is learned during the training and then it is used to modify the output of the base model it is efficient it is flexible and it preserves base model and the reason why i have given this prolonged summary around adapter is because these adapters are extremely useful and i believe they are quite underrated. So having said that, in this video, I am going to show you a feature of Olama where you can use adapter with the base model in order to mo modify the output of the model. If you don't want know what Olama is, please search my channel. I have done like more than 100 videos on Olama from different angles and I am not exaggerating. You can search it out. Installing and running Olama is very very simple. I already have installed. So in this video I'm going to just show you how you can use an existing base model with the adapter by using Olama's model file in order to use that adapter and then change the output of the model on the go. So I'm presuming you already have downloaded and installed the Olama as is again if you don't know how to do that please search the channel and you should be able to find that video. And before I proceed further, let me give a huge shout out to our good friends at Mass Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description and I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPUs. So do check them out. Okay, so that said and done, let's 
me take you to my local system where we will be installing it. So this is my Ubuntu system where I am running Ubuntu 22.04 and this is the GPU card which I am going to use NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM courtesy mass compute. Let me clear the screen. First up, let me create a Conda environment which will keep everything nice and simple. It will be very quick, shouldn't take too long. And it is going to activate it as you can see in the parenthesis. And now let's install Hugging Face Hub to download the model. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab a tiny llama model and there it's um, and then I will also going to grab a adapter from the Hugging Face. And I will shortly show you. So because we are downloading the model from Hugging Face, it's always a good idea to log into Hugging Face, and that is why I have installed this Hugging Face Hub. Now, in order to log in, simply use this command Hugging Face CLI uh, space login, and then you just need to go to Hugging Face website, grab your free token from there after logging in, and just press Y here, and you should be logged in as you can see here. Let me clear the screen. Now let's download the model and the model which I'm going to use is this um, or maybe I'm going to download a different one. Let's go with the tiny llama to speed things up. So this is a model and uh, which, is, which has adapter tiny llama alpaca Laura. So I'm just going to click here and by the way if you don't have the token just click on here on hugging face in settings and then in after going to settings on the left hand side access token and get a new token from here i already have it so i'm not going to do it again and now let's grab our adapter and it is downloaded all good there nice now i already have olama running so if i do olama list you see that I already have this tiny llama latest available. And if you don't have it, tiny llama, because that is a base model, simply run uh, olama run or olama pull tiny llama, and that is going to download and run the tiny llama on your local system. Okay, also make sure that you have this path saved. This is where we have downloaded our this Pecosa tiny llama alpaca LoRa model. So let me grab that path and let me clear the screen. Okay, so now we have the base model and we have the adapter. But before we could run them together, we need to first convert that adapter to GGML format, which is an older format, but that is the only format Olama supports at the moment for adapters. Now, if you go back to that hugging face page of that adapter and go to file and versions, you will see that at the moment we have this bin file and then we have save tensor so this guy already has converted it but i'm not going to convert i'm just going to convert this again the save tensor one and use this one okay so let's go back to our terminal and the command you can get it from llama.cpp so first let's uh, git clone that repo and I'm just using a fork of that um, llama.cpp because that has the conversion script. So just to git clone, then press enter. And don't worry about these commands. I'm going to put them in my blog and I will drop the link in video description. Okay, so now we are in this llama.cpp, which is correct. As a next step, let's install all the requirements in this repo. And as I mentioned, we are using this to convert our um, adapter to ggml format let's wait for it to finish that is done let's clear the screen and this is a command or script you need to use from this repo convert lora to ggml and then give the whole path where you have downloaded your adapter okay so it says doesn't have torch so just to install torch here let's wait for it because I'm in the Conda environment, so we need to install it again, otherwise it is present on my home directory. Okay, torch is done. Let me clear the screen. And now let's run that command again. And it was very quick. As you can see that as soon as I ran it, it has finished in a jiffy. 
it just got all the layers and then changed some of the parameters and stuff and then it has converted it into this ggml adapter dash model bin and that is a path which you need to grab so just copy this because this is this is what we are going to use it in our uh, model file so let me clear the screen and if you don't know what model file of olama is just search in my channel i just did a video today on model file all from scratch simply do touch model file sorry I'll, i don't know where so i just need to make sure that it's case is good which is and now let me go there and this is a model file and this is a content of the model file and don't worry about typing it i'm going to put it in uh, my blog and i will drop the link in video description so here if you look at it first we are specifying our base model then this is the adapter which we have just created the whole path to the bin file and then there is a prompt template it varies from model to model so i'm using tiny llama for this uh, it is just a prompt which is telling it what system prompt which is for the model and then what will be the input and then as a system prompt i'm telling it that url alexander the create the world conqueror and then it should stop its response when it meets this and then this is also the stop sequence and i already have covered all of these parameters and few others in my other video in the or about model file so all in all we are just specifying prompt template and some of the hyper parameters okay so let me save it let me clear the screen so if i do o llama list you see that we only have tiny llama base model running and llama 3 now we need to create our own model which will be consisting of that adapter from the base model and for that you need to use o llama's create command so i'm just saying o llama create and i'm calling it alex tiny llama and then giving it the model file it is transferring the model data and it has created it already so let's run it and it is going to initialize it let's wait for it to come back and th there you go so you can say hi there and there you go so the we have alexander now and then you can train it anything you like and you see it is just talking about alexander where is the next expedition it says north africa for 24 day hence i've been briefing our soldiers okay and then i was cleopatra and is she good with you Okay, that is good so he knows about now if you want to change the text another cool thing is that you can simply use this that now i'm saying you are aristotle the philosopher and by the way this is not related to this adapter but just as a bonus that if you want to change the text you can do that with that adapter like this then you can talk hi there now it is aristotle you see it has changed the tag so all in all i mean you can do a lot of things with olama um, it is not just confined to running the models locally but there are a lot of other things and i have as i said explored a lot uh, in the on the channel so please search it out i hope that this was useful let me know what do you think i still believe all of these adapters are very underrated they can really be a game changer just imagine that you just get one base model then you can create a lot of adapters for your tasks or domain for example separate for finance separate for marketing separate for uh, hr and then separate for any other so your whole company can have their own adapter specific to that task fine-tuned on that task so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching